Hello all, it's Arma Bricks. I haven't been posting for a while and there is a reason behind that. I was quite busy and as you can see on your screens, it relates to something really, really big that I want to share with you. So in the boxes that you see right here on your screen, we do have approximately uh, 120, 30 kilograms of Lego bricks. In each of the boxes, there are uh, around uh, six or seven thousand uh, pieces, two by four bricks in different colors, as you can see. And as I do belong to the current uh, uh, Lithuanian lug, which is lit lug, uh, I had a huge opportunity again to participate in the event that is happening across all the Baltic states, which is Comic-Con Baltics and is happening in Vilnius every year. And as usual, we do have an expo there. And this year we were asked to build something big and something related to the superheroes. And we chose to build Mario. Unfortunately, we do not have uh, so many parts that we could be able to build anything that is uh, uh, possible. But yeah, with the current colors and the brick uh, quantities, we decided to go on building Mario. And what we did, we took uh, the uh, current uh, model of uh, Lego Studio, the Brickling Studio, which is in the rebrickable side uh, and contains 21,000 uh, pieces, something like that. And we decided to build across that thing. But uh, from the beginning, uh, we knew that we will have uh, huge challenges building it. First of all, uh, in the rebrickable model, everything is built with different uh, bricks and we had in our possession only two by four bricks, and this complicated this thing hugely. We had to uh, generate the instructions, which, which uh, took at least three hours to generate, and at every single step we had to change how it is being built due to the fact that we do not have proper uh, bricks. But that does not uh, stop us and we managed to get through and in this video i will show you uh, the progress where i've managed to film the things and the uh, downsides of building such a massive structure and uh, yeah hope you will enjoy so let's get into it and for the folks that do not want to watch the full video, uh, there is a short uh, summarization with the photos, how the progress went. So you can just uh, watch till uh, this uh, part ends and you are good to go. But for those who would like to stay and know a bit more, I really appreciate it. And let's do that. So uh, let's begin. The start of it was really painful. I didn't know uh, how to build it properly. I didn't know what I was building. It was really nightmare. So I was not uh, tracking any of the progress. Only once the legs were done, I started to track all the progress itself. And yeah, it, it was really difficult. I do not want to remember that part of building uh, those legs. But once the legs were built, they looked properly. And I uh, uh, started to assemble it to the full body. I had to connect those two legs and have it structurally done uh, properly. And uh, needed to maintain the body uh, dimensions and once that was done it went quite smoothly it went up really fast uh, up to the belly side and to other things till actually i've uh, realized that it's time to build the arms 
and the arms were built separately and they were connected to the body and the weight of the arms were really uh, huge so I needed uh, the help from my kid in order to hold it for some time while I was adding to the main structure so adding those two arms was quite painful and challenging so you can see the buttons uh, were appearing uh, quite uh, soon and yeah it went up once the legs uh, uh, oh, sorry the arms were attached and it, it it started to feel that i'm getting there quite good and as you can see it progressed really well the arms are there legs are there uh, belly is there uh, everything is kind of there and it looks okay-ish uh, keeping in mind the uh, things i have for construction but the hardest part came in and i had to build the head for which i uh, only had white uh, bricks so i've started building it uh, and i didn't know how it ends because uh, originally the face should be uh, more like to tan color but yeah i only had white but uh, going further it, it took uh, uh, a, a bit time in order to uh, understand how to build it properly but yeah it, it continued uh, there were some struggles but uh, the, the head started to shape up and instead of black color for moustaches here and other things i had to use reddish brown pieces that i had in my possession and uh, the beginning of the hat uh, was uh, the easy part. The hardest part uh, started when I had to build a nose that was sticking quite a lot, about 12 studs in front. So I had to build that structure almost separately. And in addition started uh, the phase where I had to build uh, uh, ears uh, other hearings and the eyes as i was building on the white uh, uh, face i had to make the eyes uh, yellow uh, in order to look quite okay and uh, i think it ended up really well uh, once uh, the nose uh, was done uh, I was building and in the same time uh, eyes, ears, uh, uh, the side hearing, uh, the back hearing. So a lot of uh, different uh, colors were involved while building every single layer of it. So yeah, the most difficult part I would say was the beginning and the facial uh, part uh, where the eyes, nose, ears and the beard and the hair was. Because, yeah, I, I had to really switch uh, the bricks and to fully maintain uh, the uh, aspect ratio of uh, the details. Then uh, the eyes ended up pretty good. I was happy with uh, the end result. I thought it will be much more creepier and, and looked really bad, but it, it was okay. And then I proceeded with the uh, top part of the build, which was the hat. And it was quite difficult, I can tell you guys. Uh, it was challenging to build the hat, which had to go about 20 studs in front, so even more than the nose. And I had only 2 by 4 bricks but i managed somehow i spent a couple of days of figuring out how to maintain that structure and a lot of red bricks uh, were uh, used for for this structure and i've added much more just to maintain the the strong sculpture and then not to risk uh, anything if something you know uh, will touch it i do not want that it would break so easily so uh, uh soon we will see uh, how the uh, 
yeah, in, in this photo we can see that uh, the challenge uh, was completed and I've just uh, tried to build more and more of the hat. It, it was the easiest part I could tell for the whole build and I, I was really relieved uh, by having this uh, done. So only, you know, a sign of the Mario and the finalization of the hat was needed and it was like smooth sailing. Uh, of course, I had to maintain, you know, proportions to reduce the hat where needed, where uh, somewhere to enlarge and etc. But from that point, I was really calm that I will succeed with the Mario and everything will be fine. And yeah, at the end, you can see the, the final result. The hat looks really good in my opinion. The white face uh, is also acceptable. The eyes are okay. So the end result, I'm really happy about it. And now, uh, for all those folks that are interested, let's go into the details that I film for this sculpture. So here we have the progress so far. Sorry for not filming before. I've just recently decided to do some filming about it. So you you saw uh, the uh, bricks, the massive boxes of bricks that I got from a local log uh, just to create this uh, figure so what we are looking here is really strong and really uh, heavy uh, legs mario legs so of course it is not as, as pretty as i would like to have them because i had on in my possession only four by two bricks which a bit limits uh, your possibilities if you want to have rounder uh, corners but anyhow i think it ended up quite well and especially when it will be assembled together it will look much nicer so yeah the legs are there so now it will be the time to connect it and create some body elements I will try to record uh, uh, some uh, progress in between uh, so you could see some kind of milestones of it but yeah now this video is intended for the uh, look on the overall build and the final result so yeah let's continue building Okay, so continuing the work I didn't uh, film before when I was constructing the body. Uh, but yeah, it looks like this. It was a bit boring to assemble it. We do have a huge hole inside. We could put some things, of course. And yeah, yesterday I worked with the hand. It didn't turn out as good as I would like to have it according to the model that I'm working but still it looks okay so now for me is to try to do the other arm and hopefully it will be a bit better so we will be able to compare it soon so let's get uh, our hands on So work continues, we do have two full arms now and yeah, we are heading to the neck part and this guy is really big even right now. Even now, I would say I'm halfway there. This thing is so, so heavy. I don't know, at the end probably it will be about 50 kilos or even more let's see but i'm working with uh, several uh, colors of uh, bricks now with blue yellow uh, red and white unfortunately i do not uh, have tan so when i will go to the face i will need to 
improvise and make it wide. Anyhow, let's continue. So far, progress is really great. Again, I totally forgot to uh, film uh, the progress, but anyhow, we moved to the head already. Unfortunately, it is white because I do not have any other bricks that could be covering uh, the tan color. So yeah, let's let's go with the white ones. And now the hardest part started. So I need to properly do the face details and the hair details having only four uh, by two bricks so i'm trying to do i even generated uh, the files from from that mario said that i'm uh, taking uh, let's say example from uh, from both sides to understand where uh, the pieces should go it's really difficult to work with the bulky pieces, but yeah, I'm trying. I'm not giving up, although I'm at some points I went, wanted to give up, but yeah, let's try to continue. Uh, and I can tell that this is the biggest challenge so far for me to build out of Lego. It is definitely not, not the pleasant experience building only by two by four bricks and just watching at the model at the studio and trying to figure out what to build and where to build but yeah uh, let's try to continue i still have some energy left so hopefully if the face will turn out to be okay then i think everything will be fine let's continue Okay, continuing the work, we do have a head almost ready and we are starting to build the hat and I can tell already that I cannot lift this Mario. So it's really heavy. I will try to put it on weights to uh, figure out the actual weight, but definitely it's more than... 60 kilos because if that would be less I would be able to uh, At least get him out of the ground, but now yeah, uh, we are almost at the finish line So the hat left and the hardest part is done with the eyes of course it should be white eyes uh, Not uh, with the yellow uh, corners, but as we have um, uh, face white, there was no option. So, at least with what I had of uh, uh, the pieces, I think I made it quite good. And yeah, it is looking quite okay, in my opinion. Yes, uh, what is missing definitely the hat. Once it will be there. I guess the view will be much, much better. So, let's continue. Alright, we are looking at the final result. And here is Mario. It's finished now. And it's really big. It is almost one meter, 60 centimeters tall, and it weighs uh, around 90 kilograms. So it's pretty heavy as well. And as you can see, it went quite well. I'm really happy with the result. And uh, just to tell you again that it was uh, based on the replicable model but the main problem that i had is that the instructions and the model itself that were generated from the studio uh, application were designed for different uh, set of parts and i had only two by four bricks therefore i had to change almost every single step in the instructions in the construction 
So there were a lot of uh, work involved into transitioning into the current state with the current parts. So I'm really happy with the efforts that I've spent and the end result. Of course, I switched 10 to Y due to missing parts. But anyhow, I do believe it ended up pretty well. And if to look at the back, we can see that the back also has some texture and all. Let me get to the other side. Maybe it will show up a bit nicer. Yeah, so we do have the hat that goes symmetrically. Uh, we do have even some details uh, in the hair. And yeah, the back part is also uh, with a texture. Anyhow, uh, this Mario, this big sculpture will go to the Comic-Con Baltics 2024, which is happening in end of May and will be displayed there for three days. And probably after it, it will be again uh, decommissioned. So all the pieces will go back to the bins. But anyhow, I'm really glad that I had a possibility to build such a big sculpture. The question would be if I would do that again? Simple answer, no. It was really painful uh, to build it uh, with uh, single bricks uh, without having additional ones. There were much uh, too much pieces involved into that. All the steps where you know uh, where you need to think uh, how to transform to a different set of pieces. So it it didn't went as quickly as I would like to, and it was not that relaxing that I've used to when uh, building something out of Lego. So anyhow, end result is really great. Uh, construction phase is not that great. But yeah, I'm really happy that it ended. I do have the Mario standing uh, next to me. And hope you enjoyed this uh, a bit longer video. But yeah, there is something uh, unusual that I did. So really happy now. And we'll get back to my regular stuff, my regular videos. So stay tuned and see you guys in the next one.